everyone so in this video we are going to talk about the next three months so these three months are going to decide whether you are going to just attempt it or you are going to crack it okay so at this stage everyone feels behind okay everyone thinks i should have started earlier okay you might be thinking i could have done that thing nicely or i could have practiced the pyqs nicely or fir maine late start kiya or something like that okay so even if your notes are not perfect your test scores are low don't just panic okay focus on what you can still fix okay so 90 days that's all you have now okay some people will waste their time panicking okay and others will use this time to transform okay and use this time to improve so i am anjali and i have secured all india rank 13 in gate 2023 so let's just talk about what you have to do in the next three months okay so very first thing you have to prioritize and plan all the things okay whether you have completed your syllabus or whether like you have not completed your syllabus okay you have to prioritize and plan the things for the next 90 days 90 days pata bhi nahi chalenge kitni jaldi chale jayenge okay you can just start counting these days now so do one thing okay plan all those 90 days okay every day what you are going to do how you are planning the things okay so i will tell you okay if your syllabus is not completed please focus more on revision and practicing the topics you have already done okay the remaining things the remaining subjects you can give 30% time to them okay for completing the remaining syllabus and the uh, other 70% of time to revise the things that you have already completed okay otherwise like whatever you have already completed if you don't remember them then that's not the point okay unka kuch fir matlab nahi hoga so don't try to do everything okay try to do the right things repeatedly okay jab tum bar bar revise karoge jo cheeze padh liye hain wo tumhe zyada help karengi acche marks lane mein okay so till november and december you can focus on completing the syllabus completion also alongside prioritize revision okay so now uh, if you have completed your syllabus and maybe if you are still completing your syllabus what you have to do you have to make the plan for the next 90 days okay take some excel sheet or maybe just plan note down the things on a notebook okay just what you can do is you can just make some kind of a check marks okay like i will do this thing on that day i will do this thing on that day or i will revise the subject in this day and then in this particular week i have revised all the subjects one time okay so this type of checklist you can make okay that will help you okay now what are your tasks for the next 3 months okay you already know but let me just remind you first thing is if some topics or some subjects are remaining you have to complete them if there are any weak topics you have to polish them okay you have to do the revision you have to do the pyqs if you haven't done yet okay you have to give the test okay practice more and more okay if uh, you are thinking that you have lack of practice then practice and uh, yeah you have to give a lot of test a lot of test as much test as you can give okay and after the test you have to analyze those tests learn from those tests and improve okay other thing if someone is who is just starting their preparation okay they, they are just thinking i have to just attempt it this time and uh, like see what i can get so what you can do is you can just start learning from the test only okay if you just uh, like starting with the lectures and all it will take a lot of time and you may not be able to complete them in these three months so you can just learn from the tests okay so yeah now uh, if someone who just took some break because of any reason because of college exams or anything you are thinking that abhi come back nahi ho pa raha so what you can do is to stay motivated you can start with the easier subjects or the sub- strongest subject okay the subjects in which you are feeling comfortable you can just start giving the test of those subjects and start revising those subjects okay so for just like uh, coming back to your preparation that's what you can do okay so other point is uh, that i wanted to say 
please focus on engineering mathematics and aptitude okay practice every day if you can practice the questions from engineering mathematics and aptitude every day if you can otherwise you can just practice weekly also just uh, doesn't matter the thing i wanted to say is don't just ignore engineering mathematics and aptitude these are very very important okay in aptitude you can easily get 15 marks okay with just uh, like doing some practice you will get 15 marks from aptitude and from engineering mathematics also you will fetch a lot of good marks okay so next thing is revision so how to do the revision effectively i will uh, like i have already recorded one video on that i will just drop that soon okay maybe next week or this week only i'll drop that video so we'll talk uh, about revision on that so now coming to like daily what you have to do for the next three months okay if you are making some kind of a to-do list for every day what things you have to make sure that you are doing okay so let me just give you a kind of list see i can only tell you what you have to do okay now how you are going to manage the things how you are going to prioritize the things that you can only do you only know how, many, how much topics i have done how much syllabus i have done so don't just blindly follow anyone's strategy okay the things that i am telling just prioritize them in your own way okay so let me just tell you as i've said uh, First, you have to do the leftover topics for the remaining topics. Okay, you have to do the PYQs. Second thing, third thing is you have to do the revision. Four things, you have to give the test. Okay, if possible every day give test. Okay, so in your everyday schedule must look like you are doing revision of some topic. Okay, if some PYQs are remaining from that topic, you are covering those PYQs on a particular day. You are giving the test of that particular topic or particular subject on a particular day. Okay now after doing all these four things what you have to do now you have given the test you have done the revision of a topic you have done the pyqs okay now you have to do the analysis of that test okay see where you are doing the mistake why you're getting less marks okay don't just see the marks okay just see why you are not getting the marks okay where you are lacking and polish those areas okay that and that was any mistake a silly mistake or conceptual mistake just try to rectify it and try to not do it uh, again okay in other test okay so this is another thing okay so just keep at least one hour or one and a half hour for this thing only for analyzing the test in a particular day okay giving a test is taking one hour or two hour that's okay another one or two hour you have to schedule in a day for analyzing that test okay now as i have said try solving some questions of engineering mathematics and aptitude every day from now if you can okay otherwise if you are doing weekly also then it's fine okay you just uh, saying that you have to add these things in your schedule okay now the last thing that is also important thing is just keep some time for entertainment okay maybe if you like to play some sports you can go in the evening otherwise if you don't like anything you don't have any such hobbies what you can do is like what i used to do is in the evening or at the night before sleeping i just take one hour uh, for just scrolling reels and random videos okay so that was kind of entertainment for me and it like agar maine kuch cheeze ek din ke liye schedule kar rakhi hai and i just check them at the end of the day i feel very good okay कि मैंने सब कुछ कर लिया जो भी प्लान किया था एंड डे वाज गुड इवन उस दिन मैंने कोई टेस्ट दिया अच्छे मार्क्स नहीं आए आई वाज हैप्पी कि मैंने वो टेस्ट दिया एटलीस्ट ओके सो जस्ट बी हैप्पी डोंट वरी अबाउट द मार्क्स जस्ट हैप्पी अबाउट यू हैव लर्न समथिंग न्यू ओके एंड जस्ट रिवॉर्ड योर सेल्फ एंड बिफोर गोइंग टू स्लीप जस्ट फील सेटिस्फाइड ओके सो दैट्स द मेन थिंग नाउ अनदर पॉइंट इज अ मिस्टेक नोटबुक ओके सो व्हाट एवर द टेस्ट यू आर गिविंग नाउ इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड गिविंग द टेस्ट make a mistake notebook where you note down all your mistakes okay that will help you to improve your marks okay other point is don't compare yourself with others at this point of time this will happen very frequently that aas paas kuch log honge ya tumhare kuch friends honge jo gate ke liye prepare kar rahe honge you must be thinking like you know na pehle start kar diya they will get a good rank than me they will get a good marks than me so there is no point of comparing with others okay so let me tell you uh, one story of my uh, so ये जो टेस्ट का टाइम था नवंबर दिसंबर एंड जनवरी आई वाज गिविंग टेस्ट एंड वन ऑफ लाइक माय कॉलेज मेट्स वाज आल्सो गिविंग दोस टेस्ट ओके सो लाइक ही यूज्ड टू कॉल मी इन लाइक इन अ मंथ और टू 
okay and you uh, not a month or two and a week or two and he used to say like okay i'm getting this this marks in that test i am that topic wise test of os i got this many marks and i used to feel like i got lesser marks in that test where i'm going wrong and like i was feeling under confident after comparing from him but at the end when the result came and everything i was like he, yeah i was doing everything right okay there was no point like i was just listening to him and comparing my marks with him okay so just focus on your improvement okay so how much you are improving from the test that's important okay now uh, other thing is uh, if you made any short notes try to revise those short notes very frequently okay if you are giving uh, like whenever you are giving a full length mock test you can just revise all your short notes in one go okay so that will help you to uh, recall those formulas and everything very nicely so yeah the last thing uh, that i wanted to say i got uh, like i just collected uh, some data to tell you okay so i was thinking that in that way if you just uh, think hypothetically that you have 90 days right like basically 3 months you have 4 into 3 12 weeks okay so even in a week you have 7 days even if you are improving 2 marks every week so it's like अगर सात दिन सात दिन तो काफी होते हैं अगर तुमने एप्टीट्यूड का भी एक टॉपिक अच्छे से पढ़ लिया यू कैन जस्ट से कि ये दो मार्क्स तो मेरे आ ही जाएंगे यहाँ से राइट देर आर लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स लाइक दैट जो इजी एंड स्कोरिंग है तुम्हें पता है हर साल इस टाइप का क्वेश्चंस आता ही है एग्जाम में राइट सो ऐसे कुछ टॉपिक्स अगर तुम कर रहे हो हर वीक एक कर रहे हो मतलब सात दिन तुम एक किसी चीज को इम्प्रूव कर रहे हो तो ऑब्वियसली विल बी गेटिंग दोज टू मार्क्स टू जस्ट थिंक लाइक दैट ओके सो सपोज एवरी वीक यू आर इम्प्रूविंग टू मार्क्स okay so in these 3 months or 12 weeks how many marks you are improving so 24 marks right so even if you are improving 2 marks every week after 3 months you will improve 24 marks or let's just suppose you are improving 25 marks okay so the data i have is of 2023 okay marks versus rank i have just checked okay for this thing so since in 2023 there was no set set 1 or set 2 so i'm not talking about any normalized marks okay so there was only one set in 2023 so what happened is if suppose you are getting 30 marks okay you're getting 30 marks your rank was 12000 okay on 30 marks you were getting 12000 rank but suppose in those 3 months you improved those 25 marks so from 30 you jump to 55 okay so on 55 marks you will be getting 1200 rank so you see the improvement in rank from 12000 to 1200 okay so that's a huge improvement in rank if you see and similarly in uh, like if you were getting 60 marks your rank was around 700 okay now if you improve those 25 marks you got 85 okay on 85 like i got 85 marks so i got 13th rank so you can say you got some top 15 rank okay after improving so like these are just stats i was telling you okay if you just a thought in that if you just think in that way you are improving two marks every week even if you if you are improving two marks every week the improvement in rank is a lot okay so on 700 rank you were not even getting any top uh, five iits but after like improving you must be getting like whatever college you want okay so like these are just two some stats to tell you okay so yeah like don't be in that regret after 3 uh, months that you have to say that i wish i could have done or i could have utilized these 3 months nicely okay so i just want you to like after the results i want you to come back and say i'm glad i did like use these 3 uh, months okay so yeah i hope you got the point now okay so just study okay don't worry about the other things what are happening in your life and like just keep them aside for the next three months okay just focus on your studies and study well and yeah that's it for this video thank you everyone.